Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dali Society. Tonight I've got the brand new pattern release, especially from Pattern Emporium, and that is the very versatile tank dress. As you know, when Pattern Emporium patterns are released, they are always on special for the first couple of days, I think till Sunday night that is, so it's a great time to grab a bargain. So I'm gonna tell you all about the different versions there are. Now, if you remember really well, about a month ago, we had the Tank release, which is a really uh, fantastic little versatile basic called the Time Out Tank. Well, this is basically an extension of the Time Out Tank and it's called the Tank Dress. There are three different versions, all with the same bodice of course but we've got some little secrets you can actually do some chop and changing all to suit the season you're in Let's get onto the skirt variations first though. I am wearing, in particular this one, the A-line skirt because for me, I think that is the nicest shape to suit my figure. I like no bulk around the waistline at all. I know that Kate in her video has done the gathered waist. It looks brilliant on her. And a lot of you love that in maybe like a softer kind of rayon knit or like a really soft drapey, maybe a bamboo uh, or a, like a modal. The gathered version looks fantastic in this. But the one I've done here is in a double knit ponty. And I think it really suits that A-line shape. I love the versions that she's done in the full circle skirt as well. There is a beautiful dramatic full circle skirt that's perfect for twirling in. And if you go along and look at the tutorial that Kate's put out there with all of her different version, I think it's really inspiring to see because you can then see what works best, what looks great with what prints. Uh, there's one she's done in a beautiful ponty stripe that straight away just got me. I thought that is definitely going to look fantastic. Uh, you can lengthen or shorten the skirt. There's two different lengths. I've gone for the below knee, of course, because that's what I like to wear more. Everyone loved the shape of that cut in uh, around the shoulder. The timeout tank is a beautiful fit. Um, you must make sure you look at the tutorial. She's actually put a little video in the instructions there. You can see exactly how she's done it. And she's done it with a basting stitch first uh, and then a lightning stitch uh, when you're putting your ribbing in. It's not done like a traditional ribbing method. It's done a little bit different. And that's to give you that beautiful shaped wide binding. Uh, you really need to do that because I've done it both ways. I first, the first time I've made them, I actually made them just the old fashioned way and it really didn't work. So I highly suggest looking at her instructions for the binding method and she really has it all there to explain. So the skirts, there's, as I say, the A-line, which is what I love. There's the gathered waist and there's also that full circle. Full circle skirt, of course, is a bit more fabric than the A-line and that's why I went with the A-line because I didn't have as much fabric. Uh, it's perfect for, I think it's like 1.5 metres of fabric. So fantastic little stash buster there. I think this dress in some solid colours be a perfect basic for your wardrobe and I've seen people style it with a little blazer over the top uh, maybe layered for a cooler season with uh, and that maybe a pair of nice knit tights and maybe a knit cardigan and also really think about styling it with a belt if you want to show that kind of waistline feature now if you are interested in purchasing this pattern, I do have an affiliate link below. By all means, if you're interested in using it, go ahead. If not, that's fine. Um, I do make a small commission from each sale, but it doesn't cost you any extra. But yeah, really think about grabbing it while it's on sale and uh, getting it for that markdown price. Now let's talk about different bodice options. I love this because you can use the skirt with maybe some other pattern emporium patterns you've got. Now I'll show you the second version I've made. So this next version in this beautiful uh, bright sort of a cobalt blue with the green is actually made with the follow me bodice. Now the follow me dress I made back in January has a beautiful little flippy style skirt. I use that bodice with the higher scoop neck 
and the like a three quarter sleeve but I added on a different color binding and a different color cuff just to give it that little pop. You can also use the beautiful True Romance Bishop sleeve. I've seen that done and it looks divine. Uh, if you're wanting to do a big statement sleeve and you can also do it in that beautiful little flutter or cap sleeve. You can really mix and match best thing about pattern pouring patterns is the mashableness of them and that is that you can chop and change certain bodices and sleeves with other skirts variations so you can really give yourself endless possibilities for making your own clothing designs and I think this would look stunning with that beautiful true romance bishop sleeve and maybe um, the bodice the scoop neck bodice from the follow me uh, dress but if you're loving just the simple tank version I think this would be a winner for your wardrobe especially heading into the warmer months uh, now I know I did I have worn my time out tank over and over and over again and I've worn it not just for yoga I've worn it with um, like layering with jeans and maybe cardigans for those sort of transseasonal days so it is a fantastic pattern but I think this dress of course would be great for heading into the warmer months uh, so that you can really mix and match and do different variations I think even the songbird duster would look beautiful over the top of this dress too so a great little basic there to have in your wardrobe you need to have a four-way stretch she does go through there's the cockies again you do need to have a four-way stretch and it does say in the instructions uh, particularly what fabrics work best Hi Cocky. You can use so many different types of knit fabrics. It really is up to you. It's up to what you have in the stash and of course what you want to wear. But my favourite is this double knit ponty because I just feel like it gives me shape. It holds me in and makes me feel put together. Uh, I think for a really, really hot day, something like a beautiful modal or bamboo uh, jersey would look stunning, especially in that little gathered skirt. Uh, if you're using the full circle skirt, don't forget to use things like clear elastic for holding up the weight because you have got such a lot of volume with that full circle. The weight of the waist can sometimes pull and drag. So she does give you instructions there how to use that clear elastic around the waistline to give you a bit more stability. But yeah, personal favorite of mine, the double knit ponty, absolutely love the way it's come up and look when I first saw this pattern I thought well, look that's probably not something I really need in my wardrobe I've got a lot of dresses but when I saw it put together and that beautiful shape it gives you I've been won over and I will be making more of these definitely for next summer as well I'd love to make uh, a beautiful black ponty because I think a statement solid black dress everyone needs that in their wardrobe and also don't forget you can very easily lengthen this if you're wanting more of a midi a-line you, you can just lengthen it quite easily the full circle skirt of course does take a lot more fabric when you look at things like lengthening you need to make sure you've got that really wide fabric to cut out the skirt on um, but yeah the a-line does not take as much fabric so it's a personal favorite of mine but really really love how it's come up and I know Kate worn it with some little trainer style runners if you want to casual it down and pop a little denim jacket over it I think it really gives you a lot of options and makes it a really versatile dress to have in your wardrobe now what I found as far as wearing bras with these cut-in style sleeves is the sports style racer back bras work really well for not showing off um, your bra strap or using maybe a clip to bring in your bra straps at the back or having a crossover or like five-way style bra I think that works really well now fabric in my stash I have to tell you this was actually a long dress that I made quite a couple of years ago now a very long maxi style dress that when I a lot of the times now I've learned what fabrics to use and what works better for patterns and the pattern I'd used uh, was a really long um, Westcliff dress from front of pattern company and it just swamped me with that heavy double knit it really isn't something I would choose if I made that dress again so instead of going to the store and doing more fabric shopping which is not really what I need to do at the moment because I have got so much there but I wanted to find a nice double knit fabric and I decided to use that dress and use that as the base cut up the seams and cut the dress apart and actually use it for making this dress and I'm much happy to wear this it doesn't feel as hot and weighty as it did in that big maxi style dress I think it's much nicer for a simple little a-line dress like this I did find that I felt like I needed a belt I didn't want a tie belt because double knit sometimes tie belts can be a little bit thick so I decided to use the little d rings that I had in my um in my little uh, sewing kit there and use the uh, folded over ponty to make 
like a self fabric belt and then I've just put it through the D ring and and sort of flipped it underneath at the back and loved the way it looks there so yeah it's amazing what you can do when you have things in your stash and you want to get a bit creative I think it's great to uh, stock up things like belt buckles if you can find those sort of plastic style even the vintage style ones that you can then use like a fabric belt with they work really well they don't feel as constricted because I'm not a really big fan of wearing belt now i'm finding i don't really like a lot around my waist that's too constrictive at the moment i like to have a stretchier kind of fabric so to make a uh, self fabric belt it's worked really well and still giving me a little bit of waist definition but i'm um, really happy with how they've turned out i encourage you to go and have a look at the pattern and really think about what you can do with it in your wardrobe and don't forget everything that kate has talked about as far as mashable patterns that go back with this particular dress are also discounted as is with every time pattern emporium does have a new release the patterns she's spoken about there will be also on sale so i'll link all those below as well and that can then maybe give you a little bit of inspiration to do some uh, pattern hacking and mashing and get some different variations for your wardrobe now i'll be back tomorrow for my little bit late friday sews it'll be more like a saturday sews just to tell you a bit about my week what i've been up to and some things i've been up to as well so a bit of real life fabric shopping of course i've got some video of that for you uh, to show you so really exciting and a little bit of purchasing there with some fabrics too so that is coming in my next episode it'll be out over the weekend uh, so that'll hopefully keep you inspired don't forget to the so april blouse challenge it's still going it finishes at the end of april and uh yeah may 1st is the end draw date for that we'll be announcing the winners on the 3rd of may so yeah some fantastic prizes i've had so much great response there from a lot of you very excited to be in the draw to winning some of these prizes and don't forget over on instagram look up the hashtag that way you will see all the blazers in the entries if your instagram is set to private we can't always see the Sarah Paul Blouse hashtag. It might be a great idea to actually send us, maybe uh, DM us your pick, and that way you can still be in the running if you want to keep it private. I'm just loving how creative you all are and just how enthusiastic everyone is to get into this uh, hashtag challenge. And uh, some beautiful cloth edit fabrics have been delivered into her store. She's got a lot of new Japanese cottons just in this week. So very excited for the winners to be choosing some of that. Keep safe and keep sewing. I hope you love this pattern as much as I do. And I'll be back very shortly for a new episode. Take care and bye for now.